In this video, I'm going to show what makes up the DNA. So, focusing on what the DNA is composed of. Let's, let's start off by drawing something that looks like this. Now, let's add in these things that are called the bases of the DNA. And what we are seeing here is something called the base parent. Now, we know that each base of the DNA is unique, and there are four different types of bases. So let's assign each of them a color. So this top base, let's make it green. Let's make this one base purple. Uh, this one too. This one is purple as well. And make this one blue. Each base is going to have a pair. So the green base. Uh, it's going to pair with uh, the purple base. Likewise, uh, the purple base here is going to pair with the green base. And they are only going to pair with each other. So they are not going to pair with the pink base. Or the blue base. Now the pink needs a pair too, and it's going to pair with the blue base. And the blue base is going to pair with the pink base. When we talk about the DNA structure and its composition, uh, basically what it is. What the DNA is made of is one single type or group of chemical molecule. And we have a bunch of it stacked together on top of one another. And together they form a double strand, as you can see here. And that single molecule is called the nucleotide. So that's what we're going to zoom into and see it in the molecular level. So the very first term that we need to understand is nucleotide. Again, the nucleotide is a molecule and the only type of molecule that makes up the DNA. So in other words, a nucleotide is the structural component or the building block of the DNA. Now, in each of the nucleotides, there are three components, which are bonded together by one another. The first component is the nitrogenous base molecule. We also have a pentose sugar molecule, and as well as a phosphate group molecule. And together, they form a nucleotide. Now, let's start off by looking at the nitrogenous base. Looking back at the sketch here, as you can see, there are four different types of nitrogenous bases, which has been distinguished by the colors. The green, the pink, the purple, and the blue. What you're seeing on the right side here, 
are the molecular structures of each basis. These four bases are divided into two groups. And the two groups are purines and pyrimidines. The group purines is composed of the base guanine and the base adenine. In the group pyrimidines, we had the Saturnine and Thanine. As a way to remember, you can see that the purines are the two ring structure, whereas the pyrimidines, they are one ring structure. Bonding to the bases is a sugar molecule, and this particular sugar molecule is known as the pentose sugar. Uh, pentol just means five carbons. We can have either ribose sugar or the oxy ribose sugar. Since we're dealing with uh, DNA here, uh, the sugar that is bonded to the bases is the deoxyribose sugar in which the oxygen is absent from the, uh, this part of the molecule here. And lastly, but not the least important, is we have a phosphate molecule. That is bonded to the deoxyribose sugar. And its molecular structure looks something like this. Now we need to connect all of this together. So how the three components of a nucleotide are bonded together. That is how the nitrogenous bases, the deoxyribose sugar, and the phosphate molecule are bonded together. And we need to visualize the sketch that we made over here in a way that allows us to see and understand where the molecules are uh, when looking at it. Here is a better picture. We can see each individual nucleotide. So we have, for example, we have one here. We also have another one here. And another one below it. Now you might wonder what's holding them together. Well, what's holding them together are two types of bonds. One is the phosphodiester bond. You see the line here? The line that connects the uh, deoxyribose sugar and the phosphate group molecule is the phosphodiester bond. We also have one here as well, and likewise we have one here. So these are the phosphodiester bonds. The second type of bond is the type of bond that allows the base pairings to form. There are two bonds here between the uh, adenine and thymine in the color purple. There are and there are three bonds between these bases. The cytosine in pink and guanine in blue here. And they are known as hydrogen bonds or H bonds. So to sum it up, We've covered what a nucleotide is. We've covered the three different molecules that are bonded to one another to make up a bigger molecule that we call a nucleotide. And the two groups of the nitrogenous bases, which are the pyrimidines and the purines.